What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a better version of doubles in sale that you see out of trips tied in all the time. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, uh, I just wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this. And my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player they can become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to know whenever we release new videos. Now, real quick, this trips tight end offense, really, really good offense. This doubles in sale play is really, really good. The one problem with doubles in sale is the fact that the corner route comes from the inside guy, not the outside guy. So you can't get this, um, you can, but it's kind of tricky and there's some problems with that. And so we're gonna give you another version of the same basic concept and it comes to us out of the tray open mini scheme that we've been doing. If you've not already, um, if you've not gotten the tray open guide, all you got to do to get the guide, if you like this video, you want to get the whole offense, all you got to do is click the link in the description. It'll take you to sign up for my true fan membership, which is literally, you can get this entire offense and a lot more stuff than just this for just five bucks. Five bucks a month for the true fan membership. Um, and that's it. You can cancel at any time if you don't want to get the, the content. But the link is in the description for this. I've got the whole tray open offense broken down over there. But today we're talking about Smash. And uh, Smash is my, I think it's probably my most consistent play. And what I mean by most consistent is it's the play that's going to just really give like the Mega Blitz 3 a ton of problems. So all we're going to do with this, we've got um, one setup today and we're going to do another one in a future video. Okay, so very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to take the running back and you can put him on whatever you want. If you want to leave him on his block and, and, and curl, that's fine. Um, I typically will either put him on a table route or a wheel route. Okay, one of those two. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take circle and put him on a drag. I'm going to smart route the R1 and I'm going to streak X. Okay, just like this. Really simple. What you're going to see is you see those players move right there. This is what makes this offense so good. So what you're gonna see is that streak's gonna pull that, that Mabel guy back, and I should be able to hit that corner route right on the outside edge of this. And if I have any issue with this corner route, there is some other things, there is some other stuff that I can do to get it more open. But real quick, I just wanna show you this. This is our base setup from this. You see I smart routed it, and just tr basically you're just gonna trust this, and that's what we're looking for right there. That's a, That animation that you just saw that's what we're looking for consistently. So if you don't, um, if you don't want to, if you are having some trouble with this this post um, or with this route to X, you can put him on a, a fade as well. So it's a fade or a streak, um, depending on your preference. Okay, you you know they 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 both work. They both work a little bit differently against cover three. But what happens is this fade route should trigger that deep third to come back on it. Okay, so that third triggers back. And then look at all that grass that we've now got to throw this route. This is my favorite way to just torch people who run cover um, cover three Mabel all game. This is my favorite concept in the game. Let me show you why. So let's go to instant replay and I just want to show you this concept. What you're going to see, the real trick of this is that when we motion this guy, this slot corner is normally where he's at, right? When we motion that guy over, the slot corner comes in compressed. The reason that matters is because he's drop on a zone drop, and he's dropping at an angle back into this area, okay? This route cuts so sharp that you can't get back there, and there's just no one there. As long as you have this guy on a, um, on a vertical, it should pull this zone, and it should leave room for this easy just slant out snap throw. Now, there's another way that you could run this play as well. Um, this one's more specific to cover two. Uh, I like this a little bit better against cover two. Basically, all we're gonna do is we're just not gonna smart route R1. So we're gonna do everything else the same. We're just not smart routing R1. And what we're hoping happens is that fade will still open up enough room for us and we'll get a little bit bigger of a gain. So you see right here, that's what we get right there. And that's like, uh, I, I wanna say that's 30 yards. So what you're gonna see happen again, same concept. The only difference is we're not smart routing that corner route, and I'll show you why in just a minute. But if you if you watch how this works, so I'm at like the 25 yard line, look how deep, so we're going, uh, we're at 10 yards, 
we're at we're at 20 yards before we cut and then we cut to the outside and we get at a almost 30 yard depth okay this flat is inside once again that's the whole key to this now the cool part is what your opponent's going to try to do to stop this is when you motion they might go to a tampa two um, if they go to tampa two let me show you what that looks like that's the main reason for this second setup because we get a deeper corner we still bring that blue zone in a little bit as you can see he comes in and now i can still throw this ball over the top of that corner route so this is a huge concept for me because if they if the defense in um if the defense out of trips tied in if you do that motion and the defense runs cover two the cloud is it's got outside leverage because you got to think about it this is the cloud and in trips tied in this is the guy that's on the corner so there's you know a good five you know yards or a decent amount of of outside leverage whereas with this there's no outside leverage to be had there's no outside leverage so i can easily look at all this grass i can pass that up and just laser this this coverage okay now let me show you the one thing that i think could give this some trouble and that is a base aligned cover too now uh, i want you to realize really quickly what's happening here if you get this look it's very likely that they're in base aligned cover too um, especially if you've been going to this concept a lot, but look where the, you see where that guy's at. See how he comes inside. If we run this trips to the wide side, because we ran this to the wide side, it doesn't work. That's why I love this concept. It's so good because of this trips tied in. That's a bag. Um, and I, I don't know if I have trips tied in my audibles. I just want to show you this just so you can understand where I'm coming from with this concept. So I'm just going to come out, uh, defensively. I'm going to come out in the same thing and we're going to do the same thing. But offensively, what we're going to do is we're going to come out in um, trips tied in. And I, because I just really want to show this to you. So I'm going to flip it. Doubles in sales. So same concept. Now, if you watch how this works, this is again what I talked about. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take um, um, the slot, which is Godwin. He's on a vertical. Evans is on this route, smart route it. And you'll see this will work. It should work just fine. It's basically the same thing. Has a little, might even be a little better against cover three, as you can see. Gets open perfectly. Cover two. If I go cover two, you're gonna see that if if I go cover two here, um, and I motion square, see how they move inside. Now I don't have this good of leverage. Then watch how this plays out of cover two. It's not as open. See how he plays it. He doesn't fully play it, but he does go over there. Now let me show you the same concept, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to base a line out of cover two. I'm pass committing, maybe dropping a couple purples, a deep blue, right? I've got all this leverage now, and now what you're going to see is he's going to have a lot better of a chance at stopping this play from this coverage. As you can see right here, I can't throw that route. Base aligned cover two has now stopped me from wanting, running one of my favorite and I think most effective concepts. Why? Because of the leverage. It's all about leverage, okay? Especially when you're dealing with zone drops. So that is why when you come out in tray open, I think tray open is actually going to give trip side in a run for its money in Madden 22. And the reason why I'm doing these videos on this is because I think you're going to want to know this stuff. Uh, Trey open is like a forgotten gem in the Madden community, because look at this right here. If I get this look, I don't even have to move him. But what would, what, what's likely to happen is this. Let me show you. You send circle in motion and they do this. I don't care because look it absolutely kills it i didn't put the vertical there if i would have put the vertical there would have killed it okay and I'll, I'll show you it again i don't care if they base a line after i motion because that's what they're going to do they're i promise you they are going to base a line after you motion because they don't want you to have time because if they just sit like this you go to stick and if you go to stick like this and we've talked about this before it's a touchdown every time you're just going to stick and that little wiggly fade is going to kill cover two every single time. They can't run that. Okay. But what they can do is they can base align. Just assume for a second that they base align after I go in motion. So after I go in motion, 
they now base align and I don't have time to go with another setup. So I just have to trust this read. And what you see happen is with that, that streak and how deep that corner is, it should be wide open up the uh, on that side of the field. Um, and that's why I say, you know what, uh, I think the most, I think the best way to run this would be to put that, put that slot on a fade. Um, just because it's gonna drift him to the outside, kind of get that deep halves attention. That's what we've got to do. Um, but you'll see right here, and I'm just going to pass lead it hard. That's what we're looking for right there. And as you can see, we've got a 35 to 40 yard dot against cover two. So huge, huge concept for me. Huge concept for me. Because what this was, the end of the day, um, let me show you cover three real quick, base aligned. Just because I want to show you where they're at. See where that hard flat's at. See how much inside that is. It's so inside of this play. And so we should have a field day with cover three. Should have an absolute, absolute... Uh, field day with cover three all right the one thing that I would tell you is the one the one little thing with cover three and you can actually get away with this if they go cover two watch what happens when I smart route um, if I smart route that route leaving him on his default depth is good smart routing it's just as good with this because it's the same idea where he's just gonna go to the sideline just like that and the other reason why I like this against cover two is is again you have to understand the leverage of everything. It's all about this leverage principle. And because of the leverage of the outside leverage that you have, because it's coming from this outside receiver, that's what makes it so special. So when you run this, you can feel free to pass lead this to the outside, because that's where your leverage. Pass lead it outside, look at that, easy dot against cover two with the smart route. The smart route's gonna help keep it open against cover three is what I'm getting at. So if they are base aligning, um, out of that. Let me show you cover four. Um, cover four is a, kind of an interesting beast, but let me just show it to you real quick. Um, cover four is okay, but it should still be the same basically. Cover four and cover three, the way they play, um, I would say that the cover four is a little bit more, um, I, just, I just haven't found outside quarters. Outside quarters are better for crossers. They're not better for um, for what we're talking about here. I'm gonna base align this uh, real quick. This is base align cover four, just so you get an understanding of like I can literally beat all the zones. Like as a as an offense, I can literally just kill zone coverage. Look at this easy pass lead outside dot. So you beat every zone with that um, man coverage. We talked about this before. Um, man coverage is probably honestly their best chance with this, but couple things on man coverage first one is this this um r1 receiver if you have a good receiver there like i have chris godwin um you especially if it's shit and i uh got thrown out a sack um especially if it's shaded down man to man and this is where like if i was if i was in a mutt situation i might put like short out elite or something like that maybe short in elite something so he gets better route running on this but if he does get, you know, and again, you know, man coverage looks different than the zone from this, so you should be able to tell. But if you can't, and they go man, and they catch you off guard, you not only have your corner route, but you have this drag. And I would encourage you to take the drag. The drag is an easy read. Um, it's a very, very easy read against man. Um, it, against man. You also have, and this is one of the cool parts about this formation, you can do little things to just kill man coverage. One of those being this um, this uh, square receiver. So this square receiver is going to get inside leverage every single time, cut to the inside, and as you can see, it's going to beat man coverage. So they're going to have to use her, either the square receiver or the drag or the corner. So you've got them in three different zones where they can beat it. Um, another zone that you might get, just kind of, uh, we know we all know about this, you're probably going to get something like that with maybe like a maybe a maybe a, even a Mabel, honestly. Um, against man, this is something where I might leave the running back. Um, you can leave the running back on his route because of the fact that drag will get out of the way fast because it's a blue route. So the drag will get out of the way real quick. But what you also get is if you look at this corner route, it does beat man. Off man coverage, you're going to have a field day. Press bump man, bump and run man coverage can give this corner route some trouble but the whole you, if you don't know this by now maybe you haven't seen some of the other videos if you are struggling with press man-to-man -man coverage on this offense 
you're obviously not running the right plays because you have everything that you need to deal with press man coverage from this. Every route, every snap, everything that you need. You just have to understand that, you know, I've got to make sure that I am putting the routes on the field, like an option route, for example. Um, if, you're, if you're struggling in man or you want a man read, an additional one, that's not really gonna affect anything, put an option route out there. Why? Watch, drag comes in, option route goes out, and then I've also got the dig. So there's four routes that are gonna beat uh, uh, man coverage. One last little thing that I wanna hit on on man coverage is this. Oftentimes their user is gonna be over here, meaning that they're gonna man this guy up onto X, and then they're gonna maybe do something like this. Um, this fade route, if they are shading underneath, so if they're really trying to go for the shade and they just don't think you're gonna run a fade, that fade route you'll see here, once he gets, once he gets on top of him, pass lead this to the right. If you've got a speedster there, you're gonna kill this coverage if it's cover one press. You're gonna see a lot of cover one press and the reason why is because most people don't think you can get over the top on that because most of the routes from Trey Open are crossing patterns. They're not vertical routes. This is an example of a vertical route. So that's how you deal with that. That's a, it's a really fun play, really fun concept. Um, this is one way to run Smash. We're gonna go over a couple of other ones on this, on this guide but this is just one way. If you want to get my full tray open offensive guide, be sure to join the true fan membership. It's just five bucks a month. You can cancel at any time. So you can pay five bucks, get the guide, and then you don't have to re-up or anything if you don't want to. But I feel like we're going to give you the kind of content that you're going to want to re-up because we've come every week bringing the best offense, the best defense that we've been learning in that week. And we also have pro player breakdowns where we really dive into the depths of their scheme and what it is they're actually doing that makes them so successful.